Heidi and Frank Show. 1-800-955-5567. We are going to be giving away KLOS Christmas show tickets in about 15 minutes. But uh, I guess we're still waiting on Tom Kennedy to get here. Oh, oh we'll get the timing oh. on that. Look at this. Oh, 901. There he is. <laughs> Come on Hi. in. Oh, your wacky neighbor, Tom Kennedy. Oh, look who How it doing, is. Tom? Bob, what's going on? <laughs> nice to see Howdy. you. Hiya, Tom. Howdy. Good to meet you finally. Good to meet you finally. What the hell happened to you last These Friday? These go on my head? Those go on your head. No, put them wherever you want. I thought you guys were coming to my house. <laughs> I, got it, I got it reversed. You I thought, oh, we're coming to do our show at your house. Uh, no. Uh, so what did they tell you that I that it was the rain? It's the rain. You know what? I'm not going to let the rain take the take the fall for this. Okay. You know, atmospheric conditions. Uh, you know, happen so not little fair. in L. A. that we trouble. shouldn't slam them. <laughs> no, it was not car trouble. <laughs> yeah, you're trying to give me an out, and, and you're a good guy. Yeah. Uh, my peeps didn't con- confirm it with me. No, that sounds so like they sound like going, our You're peeps. supposed to be on the radio, and I'm being Doctor Octopus on Ultimate Spider-Man, and going, <laughs> I can't do it. I'm I'm destroying the world right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking Dr. over the planet. Doctor Octopus. I, I love Heidi and Frank, but I'm taking over the planet. I'm busy. <laughs> Priorities. Priorities. <laughs> Tom Kenny with us. He is uh, the voice of pretty much everything you, you ever hear on television and watch in animation. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants is uh, is that your most successful? I would say so. I mean, you know, he's been around for you know, a, a, so bizarre. What, what are they saying? Thir- yeah, what are we? Thirteen years or something? You know, that's years. been going on for a long time. But that's then, so awesome. You know, if you look at my IMDb, like the majority of stuff is just kind of you know, just journeyman. Uh, you know, make a funny voice, uh, get paid. Uh, How do you go start? Home. Is that something that you had before? Like. The, you saw the, the script for this. They're like, we need a voice for this character, and you already had this one. Or just like, okay, uh, for SpongeBob, yeah, yeah, like with well, SpongeBob, your voice that you did when you were twelve, and it only became, you know what I mean? Like that's the voice I've been doing. That, I was imitating my science teacher, kind of thing. <laughs> and then, and then they dropped, and and, uh, and I was still able to go to that twelve-year-old voice. Uh, yeah. uh, no, uh, SpongeBob was actually a weird, like an unusual one because it was based on a voice that I had heard at a on-camera commercial audition where there was. Uh, you know, little people uh, sure. now oh, okay. they call them midgets uh-huh. uh, auditioning for uh, 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 audi- auditioning for yeah. for Christmas commercials. Uh-huh. You know, because it was it was they were auditioning for all the on camera Christmas spots. So you got big guys with white beards that are being the Santa guy and yeah. the whatever uh, Coles or Target commercial, or whatever. And then you got uh, then you got elf guys who show up with their own curly shoes and there was one guy that was just going off foul mouthed uh, yeah. bitter You're mad like, I love this one and here. it was that voice and I told Steve Hillenberg who was years away from creating Spongebob uh, I told him this story that there was this guy going, you know, this is the only effing time of the year I effing work. If it wasn't for the Christmas ass, I wouldn't effing work. And I'm glad to effing have it, you know. I'm not knocking it, but, you know, Jay, seek. I'm going to effing. You know, and, and, and the other little people are sitting in the waiter going, I hear you, man. You know, I hear you. I'm a preacher of the choir, dude. And so I told Steve Hillenberg that story, and then I forgot about it for yeah. years. And then when he called me in, he goes, I'm, I'm thinking of pitching my own show. I've been working on other people's stuff for, for a long time, Tom. And, and and uh, you know, do you uh, do you remember that uh, bitter midget in the waiting room? And I had kind of forgotten about. It. And I go, yeah, I do remember that guy. And he goes, that guy. Boom. And, and SpongeBob and is born. Fifteen years later. God, that's incredible. Named what the like uh, the jobs that last TV are the easy series. ones to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. USA yeah. Today called it the the most loved TV series. I don't know what that but means. But I saw like in the, like in in Russia they were saying that like, it's been banned or something like that. Oh, like, is that right? Has the SpongeBob Must been be banned in right. certain countries where it's like, no, you can't watch that. It's just out. Of, it's what too much. It's too much. <laughs> uh, weird because those Russians are usually such fun loving folk. <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> We love the Looney Tunes. That's all, comrades. So you are doing what? A Christmas album now? As, as SpongeBob, the Christmas album? Because they didn't send us the Christmas album. No, we don't really we don't have it. Is, is it the These classics? are the same people that didn't reconfirm. Oh my God. Uh, I, think, yeah. I think your people are our people. Yeah. They sound very similar. Yeah. Here, look at this. Swaggy Yay, Swaggerman. Swaggy that. Swaggerman is in the his house. Oh Nickelodeon. My. It's a SpongeBob Christmas album. It's a SpongeBob Christmas. Uh, so there's a Christmas special called It's, it's a SpongeBob Christmas. Christmas special that's airing. Here's where I'm in full-on pimp mode. Uh, December 6th on Nickelodeon. It's all stop motion like those old Rankin-Bass Rudolph oh, specials. those are the best. Beautifully done. You can't beat that. By, by a local 
L.A. company called Screen Novelties, so it's all homegrown and awesome. Nice. And then uh, uh, we filled out uh, uh, enough of this, enough songs for uh, Christmas. It's not a CD; it's a it's digital. The kids don't don't make CDs anymore, so it's uh, it's on iTunes and Amazon, wherever find digital music. I is am sold. curious about track seven, "Wet Wet Christmas." Wet Wet Christmas, yes, because you don't want to be dry at, well, at Christmas. I guess you make a good point. <laughs> you know, it's a, <laughs> yeah. this is a children's album. It, it is oh, right. ostensibly, you know, but but it's a but it's all uh, it's all original <laughs> new songs. It's got some great guests. Jonathan Richmond is, You're is on You're more on track eight, Heidi. Ho, yeah. ho, ho down. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. ho down. Yeah, yeah that's... Yeah. Well, you know, one of the characters on the show is a squirrel from Texas. Yours yeah. is more number two. Which one is that? Don't number two. Jerk. We don't talk about number two <laughs> on the radio. Don't be a jerk. It's Christmas. That's a good one. That, that's in the special. Okay, so it's been great being on. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. my work here is done. No, so you're stand up. You were a stand up comic. I'm a recovering stand up. I haven't done it since the early 90s. But see, had that's. To. I, you getting recognized everywhere, probably, because you have that, like, do uh, people do this to you so a lot? No. no, they do. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, where do I know you from? Where do I know you from? You have to, well, right? They think I'm Greg Proops. Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess <laughs> Weren't I'm you like... on Whose Line Is It Anyway? And yeah. I just go, yeah, we were like a family. It was awesome. <laughs> we really got close. Do you still talk to those people? Was All Drew the time. Like, yeah. <laughs> All the time. No, uh, no. Greg and I started yeah, out together. We're, we're frequently, mis- we're, we're kind of each other's uh, doppelgangers. doppelgangers. Yeah, it's like, sure. yeah, it's like, hey, can you do like this event? I can't Impossible. do. I can't do, but they want me. Can I... you go do the event? <laughs> I'll share <laughs> exactly, the money with you. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> like like the fake Ronettes that Phil Spector used to send out because he didn't want his wife out on the road. You have that, well, being a voice actor you know, you can go out and have you can go shopping and no one actually comes up and bugs you so I mean, to be so successful and so huge and, and, not, and no one know who you, who you actually are by face is kind of a, a great thing because you have all That's the true. accolades of having like, everything going on behind the scenes but then you can go out and be normal and no I don't have you. the big ass Lawndale billboard that you guys have oh you know? yeah uh, that, no. huh? so- <laughs> Yeah. Mm. So, no, uh, yeah, that's true. That's one of the great perks of the job is that you can be on shows that are popular and you're doing the voice of these drawings that are very well known. But you're kind of keep your head down. You're under the radar. And yeah. you, you have all the fun of being on a show without people trying to take pictures of your right. kids. Well, no, so stuff, you're saying there's yeah. no paparazzi outside your house you know, watching uh, you take the trash <laughs> out. No, you had stopped at t- I'm by so TMZ. boring anyway. The other day in the airport, and they were asking about Elmo. Wow. See, they stopped you, so obviously... I've never th- been TMZ'd before. They thought you were Greg Proops, I guess. Scariest... <laughs> yeah. They want to know what Greg Proops thought about uh, Lindsay Lohan. Scariest moment of my life, I gotta say. Because I've never... Because, you know, I was talking... You know, because, you know, you know... You know famous people when sure. you're in this business. You guys traffic with Hobnob with yeah. the rich and famous. Oh, sure. <laughs> and uh, and uh, you go on... If, if you're that person... You sort of have a strategy for dealing with that. Oh, here's TMZ again. They're always here yeah. when we right. come in. They have the passenger manifest. I mean, they're like Dick yeah, Cheney I wonder, squared, like, how they know? know that. How they know so-and-so's traveling on what flight, what gate. I'm well, getting... especially me. It's yeah. like, you know, Johnny Obscuro is coming in on, on, on a, you know, it was Z-list, Mr. Z-list celebrity. It's like, what? SpongeBob's uh, landing in LAX. Uh. So, and then they came in and they were, you know, they were just peppering me with questions about, uh, uh, you know, the yeah. Kevin Clash thing, Elmo. which, you know, I barely know about the story. I've never met him. I'm not a puppeteer. My kids are too old for <laughs> Sesame Street. I don't know anything about it. Uh, you know, you're just, and I was just trying to give them something so boring that it would get like 30 comments and then fall off of the page, you know, because right. as an ex-comedian, like we were saying, you know, I made my living at that for, for a lot of years. Of course. Your first uh, instinct is to make a joke, right. yeah, yeah. you know what I mean, and yeah. and I had like a bunch of them about to come out, yeah. and then you just see how they can it's not gonna spin go that. In in next, yeah. next thing you know, uh, Nickelodeon is uh, slapping your wrist, and you're uh, you know you're taking a big dump where you eat, you know. By, so you uh, gave a yeah. totally yeah. lame answer. Yeah. Yeah. What were you doing with our zillion dollar franchise? You know, <laughs> mouthing off at LAX airport to this knucklehead with a camera, and uh, so luckily I think I was sufficiently. Dull enough that yeah. it was just like, well, oh, that guy didn't give us anything. Yeah, D- don't bug I him anymore. I think we we found it buried in the uh, in the internet when yeah. we were researching you. Yeah, like, yeah, stick with the brawls at Halle Berry's He's, house. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Tom Kenny's with us. Uh, he's going to hang out with us for uh, another break. Uh, give us a call if you want to ask him anything. One eight hundred ninety five 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 six seven. We are Heidi and Frank. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. To get more samples like this and hear all the fun we have, you can do that at 955KLOS.com. Now, to get the show in its entirety, on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day, all you have to do is go to HeidiandFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.